Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is the fifth episode of the 100 Beer Challenge and we look at our second European beer. We're headed into Southern Europe to Greece to try their beer, Mythos. I'm looking forward to this one. It's a beer I've never tried before and uh, I've had a good couple of recommendations of my friends. Shout out to Gaza and Smithy. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. There you go. There's a look at the uh, 100 Beers bucket list chart. For the challenge, four beers completed already, Asahi, Singer, Budweiser and San Miguel. And today we're looking at this beauty, Mythos from Greece. Look forward to it. So yeah, before I actually try the beer, I've written down a few notes or a few facts again, like last week. Um, the first fact being, uh, it's actually formed in 1997, which really surprised me. It only makes it 25 years of age. One year older than me, believe it or not. Uh, but since 2015, it's been produced by the Olympic Brewery, and they're part of the Carlsberg Group. Yeah, so today I've got it in a 330ml green bottle. Uh, it comes in at 4.7%. I did read on the internet that in Greece, they actually sell it at 5%. After reading a few articles online, I did find out that it's meant to have a straw-like colour. Uh, as far as I was aware, I thought all lagers were straw-coloured. You know, they're all pretty much the same colour. Some are paler and some are darker, but they're all straw coloured, aren't they? Um, it's meant to have a floral and herbal aroma. I'll be, the, I'll be the test of that when I give it a good old sniff before I drink it. Um, it's meant to be smooth tasting and it's meant to have a slight citrus, but quite a hoppy taste to it. Uh, and it's meant to have a rich head. I don't have a rich head, I just have a big fat head instead. But there we go, time to crack it open. Famous beer glass here, and time to pour the beer. I did notice it's got this easy opening cap, which is useful. Obviously, if you don't have a bottle opener available, you can just, let's hope it's easy. Oh, it's a bit stiff, this one again. Oh, there we go, that was easy enough, wasn't it? Well, that's a stronger aroma. It is floral. Floral and herbal, they weren't lying about that. Let's pour it in and see if they've got a rich head then. Oh, it's going in slowly. Once again, I failed with the head, but as long as the beer tastes nice, that's all I care about. Yeah, now I've got it in the glass, so we'll give it another sniff, give it a bit of a wiggle, try and form a bit of a head on it. Yeah, it's very floral. Even I can notice that. I'm not a beer expert. I just drink it a lot. Let's go. Ah. Ah. Whew. That was fizzy. That was really fizzy. Very nice, very refreshing, very floral. Again, I'm using that word a lot here. It's in the description. It's a nice strong taste in lager with a lot of flavour. I quite enjoyed that beer. Um, it's got a very unique taste to it, in fact. Very um, flavoursome. Very carbonated, very lively, which is I like in a beer. It's quite a pale looking lager. I've got a bit more, you know, a bit to try here still. Very nice, um, very different to the other beers I've tried, yeah. A lot more flavour in this than there is in the likes of Budweiser and Singer. Um, I'm going to give it a 7.5. It's slightly better than Budweiser and Singer, in my opinion. Don't take my opinion for everything. I'm not an expert. I just like beer and I like drinking it. So here we go, look. I've scratched the Mythos logo on the grease part of the chart. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and episode six will be out soon. Thank you and see you soon.